Sources at the People's National Congress Reform, PNCR's Congress Place Sophia headquarters, told the newsroom on Thursday that party chairman Valda Lawrence does not have any intentions of running for leader and it is unclear whether she will accept the nomination to be returned to the post of chairman. She had reportedly made it known that she will not accept any nomination. Lawrence and her faction in the PNCR are supporting Norton for the top post. The newsroom was informed that Norton, a front runner as he holds himself out to be, has secured the bulk of the nominations in Region 4, the largest voting district. The source said Norton has also picked up nominations from Linden and the wider Region 10 area where his contenders Joseph Harmon and Richard Van West Charles are yet to engage party members as, as part of their campaign. The newsroom understands that up to Thursday morning, Harmon had only secured one nomination each from the East Bank of Demerara and Georgetown and none from the East Coast of Demerara. Van West Charles has also secured a nomination for leader with one group from the East Coast of Demerara also nominating former party chairman Basil Williams for leader. With Lawrence throwing her support behind Norton, he has also secured the support of party executive Carl Joseph, who's well respected for her political work in Region 5. Regions 2 and 3 were described as battlegrounds where the support for the next leader of the party is split. But as PNCR parliamentarian Ganesh Mahai Paul cautions, nominations don't win elections. In a Facebook post on Thursday morning, he recalled when he ran for a seat on the Central Executive Committee previously. He received two nominations while his contender received 21. He later won the seat with 97 delegates voting for him while his opponent got 62 votes. Mahai Paul, who backs Harmon, said the race is not for the swift but for those that can endure to the end. Meanwhile, for the post of chairman, in addition to Lawrence, Amanza Walton Desir, Sherwin Holder, Simona Brooms, and Christopher Jones have all been nominated. Former president and current party leader David Granger has also secured a nomination for a Central Executive Committee member. The newsroom was told. Granger, who has been facing criticisms over his leadership style, will not seek re-election for party leader. Groups are also expected to submit their nominations for vice chairs, treasurer and 15 executives to their respective regional and district secretaries. The nomination conclude on Friday with time remaining for more nominations to be sent. But unlike what was done in the past, the nominations are not being sent to General Secretary Amna Ali. Both Norton and Van West Charles have raised concerns with the current actions of leading party figures which could affect the quality of the elections in Congress. Ali has reportedly open supported Harmon with Dr. Van West Charles and other contenders for the position of party leader, expressing concerns over her threat to a free, fair and transparent Congress. Instead, the nominations are being submitted to an accreditation committee. That committee will have to first verify that the groups making the nominations are in good standing and their delegates are rightfully accounted. Those persons who were nominated will now have to be written to officially by the committee and will have an opportunity to accept or decline the nominations, after which a preliminary list will be prepared and circulated. Delegates will vote for their candidates when the Congress is held on December 11, 2021.